Hey guys, this video is for you to use for lesson 5.1 in pre-algebra. It's going to go with the assignment, what did the teacher do with the ogre's cheese report? Don't know why it's called that, really weird, not going to question it. So make sure that you have that, I'm going to do numbers 5, 6, and 8. Remember, you don't have to do 7, as long as YouTube will let me. Um, if you see a part two, that means YouTube didn't. So just remember your I can statement is I can solve system of equations by graphing. So I have that checklist we went over in class today. We're going to follow that and work through the next couple problems. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my equation. I'm going to figure out the slope and the y-intercept. And we're going to represent those with m and b. So like we've already learned, anything next to our x is going to be our slope. So we know our slope for our first formula is 3 fourths. So I'm going to do rise over run. And our y-intercept here is going to be 2. Now what that means is when I go to graph, I'm going to start at 0, 2. Remember we add a 0 for our, our x-coordinate and we use that as our y-coordinate. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with this formula. So same thing, remember the negatives comes with, makes a difference, so negative one-half is my slope, and my y-intercept is going to be negative three, and again that's going to turn into zero, negative three. So pause the video if I went too fast, double check that you have this work because you're going to need it. I'm actually going to switch colors, so let's see. I'm going to use red for this formula. And I'm going to use green for this one. So let's go ahead and start. Using my red marker, I'm going to go ahead and plot my y-intercept. That's my first priority here. So I'm going to go 0, 1, 2 on my y. Now, all I have to do is follow my slope, which is 3, 4. So I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now shoot, I ran out of room, so what we need to do now is we need to make this all negative so we can graph down here. So I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to go over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I have a nice line here. Let's see if I can make a straight line. Close enough, make sure you add your arrows. And let's go ahead and see if we can find a point of intersection, so where they're going. Going. So we're done with this one for now for graphing. Now we're going to graph this one. So I'm going to find my y-intercept, which is 0, negative 3. And I'm going to go down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. Now I'm not even hitting this graph, so I know I'm going to have to switch this. So instead of going down one, I'm now going to go up one to the left two. Up one to the left two. Up one to the left two. Beautiful. Here is our point of intersection. Okay, so I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to know that this is my x. So I'm going to start here. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Then I went down 1. So negative 4, negative 1. Now this is going to be important to write down. You can't really see that, so I'm going to make sure you can. Now, we're not finished. Remember Mrs. Younger talked about how you need to write it on the back, the information of when you're checking your work. So we've graphed our equation, we found the point of intersection, and now we need to double check that we're doing the right stuff. Okay? So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to show you real quick, and you can pause the video, but on the back, you're going to want something that looks like this. So I know I have points everywhere. You're going to want to make sure you tell your point of intersection and show your work of plugging it into your formulas, which I'm going to show you shortly. Okay? So make sure you are showing all of that work, otherwise it will not count, and Mrs. Youngers will not take it. And now my whole graph screwed up. One second here. So, good thing I have that point of intersection. Got that squared, squared away. Okay, 
So now we're going to take our original formula. So I'm going to keep using my same colors here. So I'm going to take, that says 3 fourths, sorry. Y equals 3 fourths X plus 2. Now, uh, I have my X and my Y values, and I'm going to substitute those in for those. So instead of writing Y, I'm going to write negative 1 equals 3 fourths times x, which is negative 4, plus 2. Now, I notice that we have the same denominator here, but the easiest way, remember I'm pretty lazy at math, the easiest way is to type it into your calculator. So if you have your calculator, you're going to do 3 fourths times negative 4 plus 2. And it should say it equals negative 1. So that, all that means is that this is true. We checked it, and on this side equals this side. Same thing for this one. So we're going to substitute the same thing. So we're using the point of intersection for both formulas. So we have y equals negative 1 half times x minus 3. You don't have to put those parentheses, sorry. Okay, so we're going to substitute. So we have negative 1 equals negative 1 half times negative 4 minus 3. So same thing, plug it into your calculator. You don't want to do the math the long, the long way. So we have negative 1 half times a negative 4 minus 3. And I get negative 1 on my calculator. So now we know both of these are true. So our, for our final answer, this is it. We're going to say our final answer is solution. The solution equals negative 4, negative 1. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and you need to make sure you have all this work on the back side of your paper or on another sheet of paper if it bothers you to flip back and forth. So pause, take a moment, rewind if you need to. I'm going to move on to the next one. And as you notice, I'm not on my living room floor. That's because I can't do graphing. So you're going to see a lot more of me at school, which is fine because I think it's better to do it with a projector. So just hang tight while I erase this, and we'll move on. Okay, we can see everything. We're going to do the exact same thing. Start over. What, who, we love math. All right, so we have m equals b equals. So anything by the x is going to be our m, which is our slope. So we have 7 fifths. And we have negative 4, because it keeps that, which is going to turn into 0, negative 4. That's going to be our y-intercept. I'm going to use this color for this one. I'll swap out here. My red did it pretty well. Okay, same thing. M equals negative 8 thirds. And we're going to have B equals negative 4 again. You guys are going to love this problem. Those of you who know me pretty well, you're going to laugh because I always talk about how lazy I am. This is the best problem on the worksheet. Let's graph. 0, negative 4, that's where I'm going to start. Here's my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I need to do my slope. Sorry, I just used the wrong color. I was ahead of myself. So this one needs to be blue. Then I'm going to go up 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I can't do anything more. So here's my line. Now, do the same thing, 0, 4. And I'm going to go down 8, which I can't do, so I know I'm going to swap these. So I'm going to go up 8 instead and to the left 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. Oh no, do we not have a point of intersection? Of course we do, it's right here. It is both our beginning y-intercept. So let's go ahead and use that. So our y, our point of intersection, 
uh, is 0, negative 4. Okay, so let's plug that in and see if it'll work. So I'm going to grab my blue marker again, and I'm going to plug in for this one. So we have 7 fifths x minus 4. So here's my x, here's my y. I'm missing some of y. y equals 7 fifths x minus 4. So now I'm going to plug in some numbers. So I'm going to take my negative 4 equals 7 fifths x, which is 0, minus 4. Anything times 0 is 0. Minus 4 equals a negative 4. We are true. I'm going to make sure that you guys can see this. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So remember, this is going on the back side of your paper. Okay? Now, same thing. I'm going to take this formula. M equals 8 thirds, which is a negative, it doesn't matter where, times, times x. Sorry, I just messed up. There's people in the hallway. Let me try it again. Got a little camera shy. So it's a y equals negative 8 thirds x minus 4. There we go. So now let's replace. So we have y as our negative 4 equals negative 8 thirds times 0 minus 4. Same thing. 0 minus 4 equals negative 4. So it's true. So our final answer is solution equals 0, negative 4. Pretty easy. So pause, rewind if you need to. And we're going to do the last problem. Like I said, I'm sorry for all the delay. It takes me a long time to get to my board and back. So last but not least, let's figure this one out. We'll see if YouTube will even let me here. Okay. Let's get this one. We'll spice up the colors a little bit. So we have this one and this one. Same thing, we're going to start with our slope and our y-intercept. So we have m equals negative 3 fifths. And we know our b equals our y-intercept is 2. So we know that is going to be 0, 2 when we're plotting. Now green, we're going to do m equals 1 fifth. And we're going to have b equals negative 2 which we know is going to be 0, negative 2 when we're plotting. So make sure you have that worked down. It's going to be important. I'm going to go ahead and start with my first formula. I'm going to start plotting. So I'm going to go to 0, 2. And I know I need to go down 3 to the right 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I need to probably change those so I can go all the way up. That way we don't have to. So I'm going to change my negative to come down to this 5. So now I'm going to go up 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I got my whole line here. Okay. Next one. Let's graph it. This is so much fun. All right. 0, negative 2. And I'm going to go up 1 to the right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry I made you do more work. Then you needed to, I couldn't remember. So we got our point of intersection. Let's figure out what it is. So, going this way, we know it's positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if we're going down, it's going to be negative 1. So we have a 5, negative 1. So our point of intersection is 5, negative 1. Now let's check to double check that I'm not crazy, all right? So make sure you have this. I'm gonna erase this so you guys can see it because I'm a little bit worried that we can't. So I'm gonna go cover this up real quick. Okay, so this should be on the back side of your sheet. And we're gonna do our first formula here. So we're going to do y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 2. 
Now we have our x and we have our y now, so we can plug those in. So I'm going to take negative 1 equals negative 3 fifths times 5 plus 2. My handy dandy calculator here, fingers crossed I'm right. So we have three, a negative 3 fifths times 5 plus 2, negative 1. All right, it checks out. So this one is true. Next one, we're going to do, we have y equals 1 fifth x minus 2. Let's substitute, so we have negative 1 equals 1 fifth times 5 minus 2. Let's try this again, so we have 1 fifth times 5 minus 2. Again, negative 1, true. So, at the bottom, so Mrs. Youngers can see it clearly, we need to write the word solution equals our point of intersection. So it's going to be 5, negative 1. Now, I was worried because I didn't know if you guys could see this on my graph. So double check the ones that we did together. If you don't have work like this, it will not be accepted. So make sure that you have your final answer which says solution equals your work for both formulas, okay, and what your point of intersection is, because it's just going to help you. This work can be on the front. All right, good luck on the top four. If you run into problems, let me know. Um, otherwise, good luck.